in our solution, we use specifically XRP, which is the digital asset, the native digital asset on the XRP ledger, because we believe it is best suited for this kind of payments uh, solution. Um, and what that allows is um, for basically payments, the value to be moved um, almost instantly across the world. It's it's a real problem. I, I think the whole meetings that happened and, and you know, uh, it, I, I really can't comment on the ethics, though. <laughs> I don't right. know. That around the world, the global U.S. and U.S. regulators have been working very hard on solving this problem. And you've seen that the Financial Stability Board, in fact, just put out their crypto principles. But what I think that's necessary is in the United States, we really need to put in the work to issue some regulations or some guidance that will provide greater clarity to these markets, not only to protect customers, but also to ensure that any growth in these markets is compliant, fair and responsible. In our modern world, technology moves at light speed. But why has our financial infrastructure failed to keep up with the pace of change? The Interledger protocol was created to make sending money across the internet easy. We envisioned a payments network that acts as a bridge between anyone in the entire world. The greatest point ever created, the XRP army and we all gon' make it. We don't hear no haters, adios, see you later. We just Enjoy the ride, pal. If you got a bag, welcome to the party. Welcome back to some more Moon O'Clock News. No breakfast, no coffee, just straight extra, extra foolishness. Shout out to the latest sub. Appreciate you stopping by, tuning in. Go ahead, throw on those pilot shades. XRP. Buckle up, because the future's extra, extra foolish. Let's go full speed, full throttle into the cryptoverse. We got XRP currently at 45 cents, down almost 2%. In the past 24 hours, taking a look at the rest of the cryptocurrency market cap, currently right around 1.06 trillion, up about 0.3%. In the past 24 hours, we got BTC right around 20,600. We got ETH right around 1,600. We got Stellar XLM in the number 27 spot, about 10, 11 cents, down about 1.1% in the past 24 Taking a look at the altcoin season index currently in the middle here at a 41. It is not altcoin season. And taking a look at the top 50 performing coins over the last 90 days. We got TKX, HT, we got Doze, Chiz, Quant, Adam, XRP, Link, Algo, BNB, Sheep, LTC. Yesterday, November 1st, we had another 1 billion XRP unlocked from escrow. It looks like we have 500 million of that locked up into escrow. And we got another... 200 million locked up into escrow. In case you missed it, we got Cindy Young shared what crypto and Web3 means for finance leaders. And what we're seeing essentially um, kind of at Ripple from institutions, again, maybe even, you know, three, four years ago, it would have been very, very challenging to have a conversation with a very established, um, you know, bank, uh, payment service provider around, you know, having a digital asset in your payment flow. Um, talking about benefits, but today um, we're seeing that is becoming more and more accepted because of all the benefits, right? Because again, I mean, in our solution, we use specifically XRP, which is the digital asset, the native digital asset on the XRP ledger, because we believe it is best suited for this kind of payments uh, solution. Um, and what that allows is um, for basically payments, the value to be moved um, almost instantly across the world. Um, everywhere without having to pre-found accounts and different currencies and different markets and therefore locking up capital. Uh, and that creates a lot of you know benefits, not only to, um, for example, to payment service providers who might be moving money for, uh, I don't know, migrant workers or small businesses, but as I mentioned, um, also for you know, corporate treasurers who are looking at that as a way to uh, better manage their working capital um, and, and make sure they have currency where they need it, uh, when they need it. XRP built for payments. 90% of central banks are exploring CBDCs up from 80% in 2021. This growth has the potential to revolutionize the current financial system and all roads lead to XRP, the bridge interoperability. I asked Oregon for central banks complete successful pilot of real value transactions on cross-border CBDC platform, Blonte Technologies. Tom Emmer, 
Charter against their regime at the SEC has been characterized by regulatory hypocrisy and inconsistency. Unacceptable that Gary That's G okay. doesn't hold himself to the same transparency standards that he places on the private sector. Recent reports suggest that the SEC officials are using off-channel communication platforms to conduct official business and are failing to comply with federal record-keeping statutes. Get those jumpsuits, get those gel cells ready. This is why Clayton and Gary Genser and all of them want to go offline and talk. If it's personal, then use your private phone and email. None of that personal stuff is anyone's business, but if it's about your job duties as government employees, use your government email. Cup of coffee, Bill. Bill Hinman's debacle, XRP. It's a mess. It seems that there's ethics violations with Bill Hinman and Ethereum, and I know that is being that's a layer in the Ripple lawsuit, um, and has been brought up um, before the SEC enforcement director with members of Congress as well. What are your thoughts on that? Um, that look, we know Bitcoin is not a security. That was, uh, I think, Jay Clayton. Uh, he he mentioned that, and Gary Genser echoes those statements. However. All of a sudden, Ethereum was mentioned that it was not a security, and while the other tokens are in limbo. So, what do you think happened here with Bill Hinman and, and you know that whole debacle? Boy, that is a tough one. Um, I I really don't know how that shakes out in terms of ethics. I I think it's always tough when individuals work for the SEC. They can publicly make statements um, that they always say are only their own statements that they, they don't speak for the but if but those of us in the securities law area you know of course we parse their words uh, you, what else do we have to go on um when there isn't a regulation we we are constantly trying to figure out which way is the sec going how do we advise our clients so <laughs> It's it's a real problem. I, I think the whole meetings that happened and, and you know, uh, it, I, I really can't comment on the ethics, though. I don't right. know. I'm glad this is all a show to shake you out. of The greatest digital asset ever created. We got them on that blockchain trail. We must protect our customers and ensure strong risk management in the crypto sector. Regulatory clarity will enable growth that is compliant, fair, and responsible, says the CFTC commissioner. Thanks for having me on. Getting crypto right is critical at this stage. Uh, what are we missing in the big picture? So I think that around the world, the global U.S and U.S. regulators have been working very hard on solving this problem. And you've seen that the Financial Stability Board, in fact, just put out their crypto principles. But what I think that's necessary is in the United States, we really need to put in the work to issue some regulations or some guidance that will provide greater clarity to these markets, not only to protect customers, but also to ensure that any growth in these markets is compliant, fair, and responsible. Has there been some ease that's coming on the part of regulators to think about this in a structural way? I still think that regulators can't fail to act to make sure that we have the right protections in place to ensure market integrity. If anything, I think that the crypto crash really proved that what we saw were failures of risk management, just basic risk management, and also irresponsible business practices. You know, here at the CFTC, we have a comprehensive regulatory framework that not only requires registration, risk management, minimum financial resource requirements, disclosures and reporting, and it's really imperative that these crypto activities come within the regulatory perimeter and are subject to comprehensive regulation. So what can we expect from from the CFTC in this regard going forward over the course of the next 12 months as this market settles? So the CFTC has been on the job policing these markets. We have very robust and strong anti-fraud and anti-manipulation authorities. So we've brought over 60 enforcement actions against crypto abuses, and that's been hundreds of millions of dollars in penalties since about 2015. We're going to continue to do that. We just released our previous enforcement uh, results, which were over $2.5 billion in penalties. So there's no question that the CFTC is on the job and taking a very strong stance against fraud and abuse and manipulation in the crypto markets. But as far as further regulation or further insights, you know, we are a commission of five independent commissioners led by a chairman. So I look forward to seeing what the policy agenda might be. We just want a level field and we blasting off for real. Bags packed. The AI says it's the heart of the matter. Gary Gessler is protecting his career advancement. Bill Hinneman and Jay Clayton were protecting. None of them were protecting investors. Congress, where are you? We got the Interledger Foundation. Are you curious about how Interledger enables payments? Founder and CEO of 
P-U-R-I-S-M. Todd Weaver shares his journey of implementing Interledger as a default payment protocol in his session and interlude into interfacing with Interledger at the ILP Summit 2022, Saturday, November 12th. We also have co-founder and COIL CEO Stephen Thomas showcase an open source project that will enable developers to access network. Join Just Moon's session on introducing DASI and Interledger peer-to-peer network on November 12th, the ILP Summit. Stephen Thomas says, I'm coding again. Shh, new project. DASI, Interledger, P2P micropayments network. Direct access to ILP without gatekeepers. Settlement using crypto, XRP first, BTC, ETH, plus more over time. Livestream the Interledger Summit, November 12th, launch. 2023. What is the Interledger? Send money as easily as an email. It's a network that connects our interconnected world, accessible to all, that's more inclusive. Give everyone equally access to a global financial network on the XRP Ledger and Interledger. Bullish momentum. In our modern world, technology moves at light speed. But why has our financial infrastructure failed to keep up with the pace of change? The Interledger protocol was created to make sending money across the internet easy. We envisioned a payments network that acts as a bridge between anyone in the entire world. Today, when we send an email, we take it for granted that once we hit send, the email will appear in the recipient's inbox almost instantly. It doesn't matter if you're sending from one email provider to another. It works seamlessly in a matter of seconds, not days. The Interledger protocol is designed so you can send money as easily as you can send an email. It's a network that reflects our interconnected world, accessible to all, regardless of identity, geography, or income. One that's more inclusive, without minimum transaction amounts or costly transfer fees. The closed networks of the past keep people disconnected. Our mission is to bring our financial infrastructure into the 21st century and give everyone equal access to a global financial network. Email your digital bank or digital wallet provider and ask them to consider joining us to help make the world a more interconnected place. Visit interledger.org slash today to learn more. Welcome to the Internet of Value, XRP. Payments Canada in alignment with SWIFT's revised ISO 222 implementation date. Payments Canada will move forward with the deployment of the technology needed to support Linux release 2 in November 2022 but we'll postpone the activation of the technology until March 2023. Volante Technologies, the fastest path to ISO 222. Join Standard Banking, We Are Pay UK, and Volante for a live FinTech Connect webinar November 9th. Coindesk says Ripple's blockchain now supports NFTs. Company wants to accelerate mass adoption of tokenization or representing ownership of real world things through NFTs. Emi Yoshikawa says, it's not Ripple's, it's the XRP Ledger's community's blockchain. The NFT capabilities were built by the community for the community. Digital Perspective says, I'm sure it's nothing. Breaking news, central banks bought a record 399 tons of gold worth around 20 billion in the third quarter of 2022. A substantial amount of gold was also bought by central banks that did not publicly report their purchases. Gold back. Watch Guru Justin, Crypto.com partners with Visa to launch a FIFA World Cup 2022 NFT event in Qatar. Welcome to the mass adoption of cryptocurrencies. Club XRP says 2100 unique bullish XRP wallets hold at least one club token and will soon be able to mint our Genesis NFT, the bearable bulls. Keeping our eyes on everything where we expect at least 6K mints in short order. Just sitting back with popcorn for now and dotting the I's and crossing the T's. We got Junkies. It's finally time. The Junkies are minting on November 8th at 6 p.m. Eastern. Look out on our Discord announcement for the full mint details and rewards. XRPL NFTs. Reveler NFTs. Good morning, Revelers. How's everyone enjoying the XLS20 and XRP NFTs? Nine days until we mint. Who's excited? We also have a giveaway to celebrate the upcoming mint on 1111. We're giving away this X Punk to enter. Follow BPM Revelers and the XRPL Punks. Like and retweet this tweet. Retweet our pinned tweet. Join the Discord. Announced in seven days on our spaces. Links will be down below. Shout out to the XRP Rain Dancers. I partnered up with them. They'll be using some of the Bagman tracks in their upcoming collections. The Rain Dancer collection. It's the XRP army. We all heard the calling. 
We didn't hear it, no, not sorry. We on an island, please don't call me. The greatest point ever created. The XRP army, and we all gon' make it. We don't hear no haters, adios, see you later. We just keep going up like elevator. Stay focused like a laser, and if you buy it, thank me later. Erase all your debt like erasers. Flying in a jet like a mason. Finally hit 2K with no retracement. You holding the standard with no replacement. No more dollars, paper chasing. I just made a killing like Jason. You see where we headed and you see what we facing. You either sleep or you waking. Big bags like a. Shout out to the XRP Rain Dancers at Good Times NFTs. Xlist says huge thanks to the OneChain org team for adding the additional routes, which will now bring more options and utility for the Xlist. Xlist can now be bridged to XDC Network, OneChain, Ethereum, BNB. XRPL cross chain interoperability. Egrac Crypto XRP Daily hold the line Fib 0.236 and we are fine. We got Watch Guru. The U.S. Powerball rises to 1.2 billion, the second largest jackpot in its 30 year history. And we got the biggest jackpot of them all, XRP. Where will you be when XRP history is made? We beat out the SEC. NFT is already live. Cross border payments, fast, efficient. No more middlemans. XRP, eco-friendly. First, we had the Internet of Information. Now, welcome to the Internet of Value. Interoperability will be key. The SEC show will fall. And XRP is coming to snatch that top prize. I am the XRP Bagman, the Moon Commander, currently up here on the mothership, stuffing some bags and enjoying the show. Appreciate you stopping by, tuning in, smashing those likes for some more. Moon o'clock news. Hope y'all continue to stay extra, extra bullish out there. Continue holding those good vibes. Remember to sell the FUD. Buy up that bag. Don't forget to spread that liquid love. Also, if you're new here, don't forget to drop a subscribe. Drop a comment down below. All the OG diamond hands out there. Drop a comment down below. Drop an elbow on that like button from the top floor. We'll catch you up here on the mothership for the moon party. BYOB. Be your own bank. Peace out, Crypto Ghost. Y'all heard the call in. You didn't hear it, no, not sorry. I ain't sorry. We on an island, please don't call me. It's the XRP Army. We all heard the call in. You didn't hear it, no, not sorry. We on an island, please don't call me. The greatest point ever created. The XRP Army, and we all gon' make it. We don't hear no haters. Adios, see you later. We just keep going up. Elevator, stay focused like a laser. And if you buy it, thank me later. Erase all your debt like erasers. Flying in a